It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. A common complaint against a remake for Resident Evil 3 is the fact about how short the game really is in comparison to what people play nowadays. And of course, I myself did a live stream of myself playing Resident Evil 3 and of course, I also beat the entire game within one hour. However, after I played the remake for Resident Evil 3, I decided to replay, like, of course, uh, Resident Evil 2 remake and do, like, a little science experiment to see whether or not I could beat the entire game of Resident Evil 2 within one hour, just like with Resident Evil 3. And sure enough, I actually did manage to beat the entire game within one hour. As you guys already know, again, I beat Resident Evil Street Remake in one hour, and of course, here's the same data that I did for Resident Evil 2, and sure enough, I also managed to beat the whole entire game within one hour. Upon replaying the games back to back, I noticed some major fundamental differences. For the case of Resident Evil 2, the gameplay is not really action-packed, per se, in comparison to Resident Evil 3. For the case of Resident Evil 2, the game mostly takes place at the police station, and then of course the sewers, and of course the laboratories towards the end. However, most of the time, you're not really fighting against zombies. Most of the time in Resident Evil 2, you have to solve different types of puzzles to progress in the game, and of course the occasional boss fight that you encounter throughout the whole entire game. For the case of Resident Evil 3, the gameplay is different in a sense because there's not many, if not any, puzzles throughout the whole entire game. The whole entire tone is very action-packed, very dramatic, and of course guns blazing, and so typically it's actually way easier to play Resident Evil 2, I mean not Resident Evil 2, but Resident Evil 3 on a casual sort of, you know, gameplay environment than something like Resident Evil 2, which is like much more puzzle-based and much more about atmosphere. Also, it's worth mentioning that a lot of the games in the franchise are blatantly short. Like, I follow like a lot of gameplay channels, and I've seen people playing like the remake for the first game, as well as the old school games like Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3, all within one hour. And so, I don't think that Resident Evil 3 is the only guilty game in the franchise that is short because like a lot of the games in the franchise, at least up until like 4, 5, and 6 were obviously short. And so I think the whole entire idea, the argument that Resident Evil 3 is short is nonsense. And matter of fact, I think it's actually consistent in comparison to the rest of the franchise. However, the biggest disappointment for Resident Evil 3 is the fact that the game actually has less content in comparison to Resident Evil 2. Like, for example, after you beat the campaign for Resident Evil 2, there are just so much options to do. For example, there's like an entire short campaigns where you can play as different characters. And of course, you can also play as like Claire Redfield or Leon. And so basically, there's like much more unlockables, much more campaigns, much more replayability. With Resident Evil 3, you just have the campaign and that's it. There's like no other different modes. There's no different characters aside for Carlos. Essentially, you get the campaign and that's it. Also, another complaint that I have for Resident Evil 3 is also the AI for Nemesis. Like, as we all know, Mr. X can follow you throughout the whole entire game. And honestly, I felt more scared from Mr. X than Nemesis when I was playing Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Mostly because, again, the AI just follow you. You have no idea where he's at. You can also hear like the footsteps of Mr. X. So I actually felt more afraid of Mr. X in comparison to Nemesis. Like the only real time you see Nemesis 
is through scripted events, like cutscenes or particular moments, but he's not chasing you throughout the entire game. So that kind of aspect, to me at least, felt a little disappointing. So overall, is Resident Evil 3 Nemesis worth it? Honestly, I still think it's a fun game. It's definitely not a bad game. However, like I don't know why they have less content for this game and also a lesser AI for Nemesis. I just feel as though that the package for Resident Evil 2 Remake is much more complete, to me at least, in comparison to what we have for Nemesis. Like, I think for a case of Resident Evil 2, the $60 was actually worth it, whereas for Resident Evil 3, it's more like a, you know, $30 kind of campaign, but that's just me. But what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys next time. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.